In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you on how you can do super simple number formatting inside of Roblox Studio. So let's say you have really long numbers that want to be abbreviated, or you just want them to be shorter so it's easier for your users to read and understand. And this is where this super handy module comes into play. So this is a module called Format Number created by this user, um, Blogzez, I hope I'm saying that right. And I'm going to be showing you how you can just use a super simple script to shorten your numbers and make it super easy for users inside of your game to read. So first of all, let's have a look at this. First of all, let's have a look at this dev from post. So it talks all about the module. And in fact, if you want, there's going to be documentation. So while I'm just going to show you the basics of this module, there is so much you can do with this module and I'll be glad to show you all about it. So. First, we need to download the module script. And you may be thinking to yourself, how do we do this exactly? Well, it's super simple. So once you're on this post, which once more will be posted in the description down below, I want you to head over to the files and then make sure you click on file and wait for it to download. Okay, so now that's downloaded, we need to open up Studio. So I'm going to open up my Roblox Studio. Okay, then my Roblox Studio is now going to open. Then I want you to then I want you to open up your file manager and head to downloads. And here you'll see the format number and here you'll see the format number 31.1 has been installed or it might be a different version depending on what you install. As you can see, we can't actually double click to open this file, but there's a super simple way we can get it into our game. So enter any game of your choice where you're going to be using this. Okay, let me just close the plugins. And then all you do is drag and drop your RBXM file and you'll find it inside of Explorer. So what you're first going to be greeted by is a folder, which is going to be for, called format number. And typically you store all of your module scripts inside replicated storage. So we're going to do that and let's chuck it in there. And now I'm going to show you on how you can use. Okay. And now I'm going to. Okay. And now I'm going to show you on how you can actually use the modules. So let's first of all create a script inside of service script service. You could already have a script. This works with really any number. And so, for example, let's say you had a point system and you wanted to visually change how the number appears. This would be perfect for that. But here I'm just going to print it out to the output so I can show you the results. So first we need to actually find our module scripts, the correct ones, and require them. And so we can use them inside of our script. So let's say local replicated storage equals game get service replicated storage so here we have created a variable called replicated storage and then we're setting this to be the replicated storage which is going to be in here now uh, we're not actually trying to we're not actually going to try require the replicated storage we need to require one of the files inside of this folder so we're going to say local format number equals and then we're going to say require oops require and then we're going to say replicated storage colon wait for child format number and then we're going to move one or two places to the right and say dot main so what this does is it sets another variable called format number and then it requires it from the replicated storage then it waits for the child format number to make sure it's there and then it gets the dot main module script and then it requires it into the code so now that we can actually use it so let's drop a couple of lines and next of all, we're going to add some abbreviations, or also known as compact notation. So when you think of numbers, let's say you want to say 1000. So instead of saying 1500, sometimes you want to say, okay, let me just make this in a comment or long paragraph so we can read it. Instead of saying 1500, you might actually want to say 1.5k. And then instead of saying 1 million like this, you might want to say 1m. And it just makes it easier to read, right? Because for some users, reading this might be a bit more difficult. But by just having this, it's super e easy. And then finally, you can go onto the billions and then onto the trillions if you have those big numbers. So that can also be good. For example, let's say you have a simulator game and you're working with large numbers. It's also easier for your users to read. So let's create our abbreviations inside of a variable. Let's say local abbreviations equals. And then we're going to say format number dot notation okay and then dot compact with suffix thousands and then we're going to create a table and then in here we're going to pass k for 1000 m for a million 
uh, B for billion and T for trillion. Okay, and now we can already get started by formatting some numbers. So let's create our formatter, which will be responsible for formatting our numbers. So let's say local formatter equals. So we're going to create a variable called formatter, and then we're going to say, and then we're going to say format number, which is from the script, which is from the module script main dot number formatter or colon with and this is going to tell the number formatter and now we're going to pass some custom fields to the number formatter so it understands exactly what we want it to do and we're going to say colon notation and then we're going to use our brackets and then we're going to give it our abbreviations and then we're going to say colon position and why is it red have I made a mistake here let me just have a quick look at this. So we get our format number, which is from here. Then we get our dot number formatter. Oh, whoopsies, it's not colon width, it's dot width. That's my bad. Okay, is that anything? And once again, yeah. Format number, number formatter. Okay, let me just have a quick look here. Okay, let's just keep going and see if it stays there. Then we're going to say colon notation abbreviations. And then finally, we're going to say position. And we're going to pass the format number dot position dot integer and then we're going to say colon with min digits okay and then we're going to put three and i'll explain what that means so basically what happens here is we pass the so we pass the abbreviations so our format so our number formatter knows exactly what it needs to do with the um with the short numbers so a thousand million billion and trillion and then you may be thinking to yourself, what is position? So with the min digits, we can say exactly how many digits we want to appear. So let's say we have the number um, uh, 12.345 or 34 or 3455. And then with our min digits three, instead of showing all of these, it's only going to show three of the numbers. So even if we have a super big number, it will only show three at maximum. At three at maximum. So now let's get some examples showing so we understand how this looks. So let's say print, and then we're going to say formatter. Oops, no, formatter, there it is. And then we're going to say colon format, and then let's give it some numbers. So first of all, let's start with some ascending numbers. So one, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. Okay, let's copy that so it doesn't become too repetitive. Then it's going to be five, oops, and then it's going to be six. And then let's go all the way up to nine just for the examples and i'm missing numbers here five six seven five six eight five six nine five six seven and then eight and then nine and then we have all of our okay and then we have all of our num okay and then we have all of our number examples here and then let's open up our output and see what happens so let's just clear it so it's all ready and then let's run and see what it prints inside of the output okay and as you can see, at max only, and as you can see, at max only three numbers are displayed at all times. So we have one, one two, one two three, one point two three, twelve point three, one hundred twenty three k, one point two three million, twelve point three million, hundred twenty three million, and this is super good. And then, for example, if we will set the min digits to be three, the minimum amount of digits it would display is three. So let's head up, so let's head back, and then run it again. And there's and that's just for a high resolution of number. So as you can see now, when it has the option to display four numbers, it does. So one, two, three point four million, or twelve point thirty four million, which gives us always the min digits of four. And then let's also show you what happens if we have a decimal. So let's also show you what happens when we have a decimal number. So let's say nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, six, and then let's play. Okay, and then it's going to print. And then as you can see, it only shows up to four numbers once more and it doesn't have rounding to my knowledge but i think if you look into the documentation you can add some handy dandy rounding okay and so that's going to be everything for our tutorial today um if you have any questions you can head over to our forms forms of the cookie.dev where myself or someone else will try to help you um if you want to support the channel for a very small amount head over to our members page on our channel um thank you for tuning in have an excellent day that's all from me and bye bye